Brooke. Look, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I feel for the guy. Certainly there are certain parallels. I mean, Maria's body was never found. My sister's body was never. Uh, I get the, the, this stuff is just killing me, Brooke. It's just killing me. I actually had a dream last night that I have not had since those bad old days. In this dream, I, I, I wake up, and there at the foot of the bed is my sister, just standing there. Her skin is this cold, icy blue. <laughs> and she's just about to say something to me. And about then I wake up. And this morning I woke up with the same feeling I had all those years ago. Afraid to go to sleep at night. Anyway, you, you, dear kind lady, you said you had a question you wanted to ask me. Let's ju just say, for argument's sake, that you're absolutely right, okay? That Kit Fisher is a grifter and she's out for a third of the Montgomery estate. There's no doubt in my mind. So it's a simple solution. There's one way to prove, once and for all, that she's just running a big con. And that's take the DNA test. Then you have the proof. You have the conclusive evidence that Kit Fisher is not your sister Christine. And that is your idea of a simple solution. Well, Jack, why not go for it? You know, I mean, if you really uh, think that this Kit Fisher person is not your sister Christine, why let her get to you? Unless there's some small part of you that believes she is who she says she is. You know, Brooke, that wasn't really a question. That was more along the order of armchair psychology. Well, then you can prove my amateur standing. Submit some DNA, take the test, blow her claim out of the water. You have nothing to lose. Jack loves you for the same reason that we have all loved you. You can take on the universe with one hand tied behind your back. You are the ultimate law in nature. It's Erica's world. We just live in it. Go on. Okay. You blow into our lives like a tropical storm. You wreak havoc. Gone. And we are all left picking up the pieces of our shattered lives. We scratch our heads and wonder what happened. And then we finally realize that our lives would have been dull and empty without you in it. Good evening. Well, Brooke, why don't you uh, join us? I see that you're dateless. Would be very sad to watch you sitting alone. Oh, that's so sweet. Actually, I'm meeting some advertisers for Tempo. Oh, my goodness. I shudder to think who they may be right now, especially since Tempo is obviously supporting that lowlife Kit Fisher. Well, I guess you're going to turn Tempo from a news magazine into a rag. Well, shall I call circulation and ask them to cancel your subscription? Oh, no, not necessary. I've already done that. Are you saying to me that Tempo has no intention of dropping this witch hunt? On the contrary, actually, we have agreed to be responsible for any legal defense that Miss Fisher might need in the process. A Temple lawyer is representing her at the hearing today. Nice to see you, Dimitri. Erica. Well, I have got to get, go to that hearing. No, no, no. Jack what has made doing? it clear that he does not want to see you. You cannot help him by going there. I certainly can. I can give him this. Look at this, Dimitri. This is a dossier on this Kit Fisher person. This proves conclusively that she is an embezzler. My own private detective got this information. Have not you heard one thing that I have told you? Now get between Kit and Jack at your own peril. 
I will, I will take care of this, okay? So you don't shoot yourself in the foot. You mean you're going to the trial yourself now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, all right, then will you please give this to Jack, please? Erica, would you please have another one of those Virgin Marys you so well like? It'll calm you down. Well, thank you for your concern. You've been very sweet. <laughs> Brooke English, would you mind telling me why you are such a colossal fool? Well, being called a fool by you must be a new low. Oh, by all means, join me. Have you taken a good look at that man? I mean, Dimitri is so handsome. And he obviously has, has stuck by you during some terrible times. And obviously that's because he, for some reason, has some very deep feelings about you. And you? You just reject him? Uh, exactly where was that little hand when you became such a fan of Dimitri's? Dimitri is a wonderful man, and he's come into your life. And at the very least, he's not a, a degenerate like the last one who came into your life. I mean, you ought to be grabbing onto Dimitri with all your arms and legs. Oh, Erica, I'm sorry, but that's your style. You're chasing after a man who doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. So my advice to you is take no for an answer. Jack dumped you, accept it, and move on. Jack did not dump me. Jack needs some time to himself, and I am perfectly happy to oblige. I mean, Jack and I love each other. It's just a matter of time before we're back together again. So what, in the meantime, you're trying to make him jealous? I mean, even you couldn't be that sophomoric, could you? That's ridiculous. Try to make Jack jealous. Look, I don't need stunts to try to win Jack. I don't even need to try to win Jack back at all. As soon as he's finished with his Kit Fisher horror story, Jack will come back to me of his own free will, thank you very much, and I don't need Dimitri's help. Personally, I'm really happy that you've spurned Dimitri, because he deserves better. Well, I can, and I will say the same about Jack. And as far as Dimitri is concerned, I value our friendship, but unlike you, I don't require a man always dancing in attendance. Well, there's nothing sadder than a woman dancing alone. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to court. I'm going to be with Jack. <laughs> Good luck, Jack. <laughs>